And we back! In today's rebuilding challenge, I can only do one trade per season. My objective is to make this video as short as possible, make one grand trade, and that is enough to propel the team to a champion. But realistically speaking, you kind of understand, right? Be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. Of course, fantasy draft, as we always do, we're going to stop in three and two and one. We're running with the Brooklyn Nets. Let's go ahead and get Brooklyn this championship. The Nets are going to have what number pick? It's not, it's the 17th overall pick. Okay, we'll take that. You know, it could be better, it could be worse. At the 17th overall pick, we got Jason Tatum. Wow. Okay, so Jason Tatum, Porzingis, Fred Van Vliet, Bogdanovich. We got Aaron Gordon, Montrez Harrell, Patrick Beverly, Herb Jones, TJ McConnell. Okay, so this is actually not that bad of a team. But we need to make one trade this season to blossom us to, to championship contention. I think the best thing we can possibly do in this first year is trade Porzingis for somebody that's going to be an upgrade at that position. Um, we have, like, I like Herb Jones too much to probably trade him, but we have young pieces like Herb Jones. That's it. Literally, that's it. This is a team that was built to try to compete right now, but we even have, like, Aaron Gordon, who's pretty good at value. So I'm trying to pair Jason Tatum with somebody great, but I can't gut my team too much because, you, you know, two-man roster is not good enough to win a championship. So... I got to figure out what the what the real move is. Or maybe we tell ourselves there is no real superstar big trade, mega trade to do in the first year. And we say year two is the year that we blossom into a real championship team. Uh, once we get to the offseason, I will not do any signings. I can only retain players, right? I will not go out there and use some cap space to get a superstar player. It doesn't work like that. It's just retaining the players that were currently or recently on the roster. Or find an alternative. For example, if we lose 76 overall Jeff Green and free agency, I can go replace him with another 76. Same thing with Robin Lopez. Okay, you get what I, what I mean. All right, all right. So the first thing that immediately came to mind when I was looking at like positions was Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, Carl Anthony Towns is not going to immediately make this team a championship team, I don't think, but he could be the first domino and us making something happen in a year or two. Um, he's only uh, 89 overall, but the only problem is he starts to regress pretty early. Maybe Anthony Davis is more of, of the speed. I'm adding them both to our list, though. And Carl Anthony Towns is, of course, less valuable than Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis plays in Phoenix. Let's go talk to them first. Um, I think no matter what trade I do, I'm going to be a playoff team. So I'm not really worried about potentially trading my picks away and what that can mean. Um, I'm willing to, what's your, your salary cap is pretty high. Do you have a bad contract here? Why does Sekou Dembouya be finessing? Okay, so we can use Sekou Dembouya. I'll give you Bojan Bogdanovic. I'm willing to give up this first round pick. Our picks aren't even valuable because they're assuming because we have Jason Tatum, Porzingis, and Fred Van Vliet that we're, we're just good enough. To get it done, but even four first round picks with Porzingis and Bogdanovich is not good enough. I can even throw in Montres Harrell. Okay, give up a pick. Dang, I wish our picks were better value, man. I think this has all the makers to be a, a trade that we can do, but our picks have no value. All right, so let's add one more piece. Um, what would that piece be? How Neto is not gonna be value. He he's worse valuable than our pick. TJ McConnell. We got to make up a, le a little less than a million. We'll bring back... Um, Ru <laughs> hey, if we were taking on Russell Westbrook contract, you actually got to throw us some stuff. We'll give you Patrick Beverly. You give us back Russell Westbrook. Oh, we still got $5 million to make up. Okay, so this is not... This ain't going to happen. Anthony Davis is pretty much off the table. I try... Unless I do a reverse trade finder. I'm assuming that a re reverse trade finder, they're going to say like, give us Jason Tatum and Porzingis. So they bugging. Like, real life bugging. All right. So we ain't got to worry about that. That's not the move. Carthony Towns plays for Indy. Let's go talk to Indy. Let's try reverse trade finder first. They say nothing. It ain't nothing on your team that we want. I find that hard to believe, Indy. I, I do find it hard to believe. Because if I throw together a package that's too good to be passed up on, you're going to accept. Like, right up this, this is not good enough. It's a three overall difference. So I'll give you, um, I'm willing to give up Montrez. Montrez is not anything that I, you know, necessarily need in this challenge. Nemanja Bialica coming back. I got one first round pick. I got two first round picks. And three will be the most I'll be able to go. And we got our first trade done in year number one. Our starting lineup is Fred Van Vliet, Patrick Beverly, Jason Tatum, Bojan Bogdanovic, and Carl Anthony Towns. Off the bench, we have Aaron Gordon, Herb Jones. Oof, I was trying to figure out should I start Herb, but we got Patrick Beverly. Who, they're both great defensive uh, shooting guards in the game. TJ McConnell, Robin Lopez. That's our it's our roster for year one. This is not a championship team, I don't think. But you never really know. Luka wins MVP. We're the two seed. Oh, Luka and Josh Giddy. Hold on. They making... 
Six man of the year, Russell Westbrook. I tried to trade for you, bro. You could have won that over here and potentially got a ring this first season. I don't really know. Uh, we are the Brooklyn Nets. I got to remind myself. Jason Tatum makes an All-NBA team. Let's see what JT ended up averaging. 27, 8 and a half and 5 and a half. 50, 42, 86. You know, those are career numbers across the board for Jason Tatum. So, so shout out to him for really stepping up. And Carthony Towns, his counterpart, makes All-NBA third team. So, you know, really, really good season for the guys. 25.6, about 12 rebounds, 4.5 assists, 50, 40, not 90, because nobody want to shoot 90% from the free throw line no more. Practice your free throws, kids, because if you can get the 50% and the 40% from three, but you miss out on those 90% of your free throws, you know what I'm saying? You're you real lost right there. All right, first round, we're going against some good defenders in Paul George and Lou Dort. But everything else after that, I'm kind of chilling with. See what ATO got. I know I'm in the two seed. Just know we, we advance to go against the three seed. Cool. The one seed got eliminated. If we win the championship in the first year, it's crazy. Draymond and Steph Curry cannot get away from each other no matter what. But they have Mikhail and Steven Adams and John Wall. Ooh, not that bad of a team. We win game one, lose game two. Lose game three, win game four. Uh oh, we lost, which is fine. Because, I mean, honestly, it would have been cool to get it in one year, one year, but I like that we get to do at least one more season of trades. All right, so we're going into year number two. Um, unfortunately, Jeff Green regressed. He came back and didn't regress. So, like, what can I do about that? Uh, Bogdanovich is still here. We're a pretty old team other than the first two up top. Fred Van Vliet is a free agent after the season, so we might want to flip. Or he got a player option that I'm assuming he's not going to take because he can make more than that, right? I'm leaning towards re-signing once the season is over. Hey, are you willing to re-sign right now? Because if you're willing to re-sign right now, we ain't got to worry about you. We'll, no, none. Okay, we'll re-sign for Bogdanovich. I'll actually do that. I'll actually do that, get Bogdanovich back, even if that means I trade him right now in a second. Uh, okay, but let's figure out what position we need to upgrade. Herb Jones is now taking the starting spot away from Patrick Beverly. Didn't even realize Patrick Beverly is no longer on the team. So, dang, we didn't even replace him with somebody with equal value. Either way, uh, Bogdanovich dropped. Yeah, we're an older team, man. Is Freddie really the person we upgrade? What if we do... Let's go, let's go look around the league. I know we're in the beginning of the season, so nobody's going to be selling. But let's look at rebuilding teams. DeJounte Murray's on a rebuilding team. This is the same team we made a trade with, Get Cat. But I don't really care. DeJounte Murray's on a rebuilding team. This team's not even working with the salary cap. I don't know how the heck they did that. They, they just got two dashes. Like, what does that What does that even mean? I have no idea what that even means. A Damian Lillard trade is possible. He is older. He is sitting at 32 years old, and he's regressing already. But he just averaged 33 in Chicago. So he's still very, very good. We could potentially get back Jakob Pertl. Um... But I would want one other piece. Am I getting too greedy? Can I can I get Cam Johnson too? We got to make about five million. We will give you Jeff Green. They want Aaron Gordon. They give us Rondé Hollis Jefferson. I would rather not. I'd rather give you this first round pick though. They think they're a championship contender all of a sudden. We could keep DeAndre Jordan. He's buns anyway. Hold on, let's do this again without getting DeAndre Jordan to trade. Instead, do I go TJ McConnell? So who's our backup point guard here? It's Tomas Sadaransky. Um, I don't think I like that. They want DeAndre Jordan in this trade. So we be packaging Fred Van Vliet, Bojan Bogdanovic, two first round picks, TJ McConnell and DeAndre Jordan for Dame, Jakob Pertl, and Cam Johnson. That feels like a pretty solid trade. Now we would have to re-sign Jakob. We would have to re-sign Cam. I like, I think I honestly do like this trade a bunch. So you know what? It is a deal. It's a deal. All right. So now we have Aaron Gordon. Start. This team is kind of nice. The team is really nice. Um, other, oh, I did trade away 90% of our depth, though. So uh, the last people on our rotation are just real life bad. Um, like, like sh shouldn't get minutes bad. Damian Lee should not be getting real minutes. You know what I'm saying? Jeff Green at this age should not be getting real minutes, even though last year he gave us 11 and 4 per game. Can't do it this year. Um... But that's the challenge. I should have probably looked more towards a backup guard, a part of this trade. But hey, we got a, what I would consider a big three between Tatum, Towns, and Lillard. Um, wait, Tatum, Towns, Lillard. Two T's and an L. Two T's and an L. L. LTT, TTL. I don't know what it will be. All right, we simulate year two. Is this the championship team? We about to find out. All right, y'all. So uh, year number two is pretty good as well. We ended up being a two C once again. 
I didn't even look and see how many total wins we had in year number one, so I couldn't even tell if we got better. I will say that Jason Tatum made another All-NBA team. It didn't matter that we added Damian Lillard and some other pieces. Tatum still balled out and even had another career year, which is great as far as scoring the ball. Um, Carthony Towns did not make an All-NBA team this season, but Damian Lillard did. So we got two All-NBA players back-to-back -back seasons. 30-plus points per game. Jeez, why was it just a ton? 30-plus points per. That's that's a lot of peace. You know what I'm saying? 30 points per. per yeah. Um, so... Somebody had to take a back seat, and I'm guessing it was Carl Anthony Towns. Let's take a look at his overall stats. He averaged 20 last year. He averaged 25. So somebody had to take a back seat, and it was him, and he did it. And it wouldn't matter. It doesn't matter if you win a championship, Cat. Let's see what we got. First round, we're going against the Cleveland Cavaliers, who have Jamal Murray, DeAnthony Melton, uh, Kawhi. That's all you really need to know. But they got Daniel Tykes or Carl Anthony Towns, and I like that matchup a ton. Jason Tatum being guarded by Kawhi. Don't love that. But we got Herb Jones out there defensively on our side. And we get out of that round to go against Orlando in a second. Devin Booker, Derrick Rose. Uh, that's a good roster. That's a good starting five. They got a nice balance of shot creation, um, straight up defense, some bruisers with Jonas Valanciunas. This is not a bad team whatsoever. Let's see if they can match up against the number two seed. The number one seed has got eliminated again, by the way, in the first round. That's back to back seasons where the eight seed has, uh, has made an upset. And we get to the conference. I spoke too soon. I thought we was getting to the conference finals. Here we go. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Let's make it happen. And they might. And they did. I, I, try, I swear to you, I tried to stop it so we can jump in and potentially watch it. Doesn't matter. Dame gave them that watch. And they going packing. And just like that, we're advancing to the conference finals. Debooking them, good luck um, next season. <laughs> Steph Curry, Jordan Clarkson, Mikael Bridges. Okay, so this is pretty much the same team. Um, but I forgot who their, they, who their shooting guard was last season. It wasn't Jordan Clarkson. But, you know, we're better. This is a rematch. 3-1. And we get to the finals to go against OKC, who has Ben Simmons, Dante DiVincenzo. Oh, they got a major weak link at that small forward position. This is Jason Tatum's series to go crazy. Now, we do have Aaron Gordon guarding Zion. Actually, I kind of like that matchup a lot for us. I think they match up pretty well as far as, like, Aaron Gordon's body... Okay, he probably can't guard Zion. But you understand where I'm going with this? I'm trying to convince myself and the people at home that Aaron Gordon is a Zion Williamson stopper. They got some stuff over there, though. But Tatum, if you don't put a 40 in game one to show these boys how it's done, it, you didn't. You didn't. Somebody did, but it was not you. Okay, so we lose game one behind Zion. Um, and then Svima Kailu, who I thought was going to be the weak link. Both of them. Uh, Zion. Huh. So we, we kind of have a big three, and that's like it. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. I thought, I, I thought that we had a chance. I guess I was the only person that did think that. All right, so we move on to the next season. Let me go ahead and write down these players that I need to resign so I don't lose somebody like we lost Patrick Beverly. We lost Patrick Beverly for nothing. I could have brought him back. And Patrick Beverly would have been good for this that last series. That's all I'm saying. I think I got to do a trade for some depth because I think that might have been one of the major issues. We just didn't have enough depth. Um, we're going to bring back Herb Jones, from, even though he's upset, because people just get upset in this game for no reason. Cam Johnson is also upset. We're bringing you back. If I got to trade both of y'all, I will. Um, we have unrestricted Jakob Pertle. I'm going to sign him back. That's easy. Cam said he's not interested in signing with us. Um, so I, I don't really even really know what to do about that. Like, he's just not interested. I'm just, I don't even want, I just want to see your offers, my guy. I don't even want to. Okay, there it is. There's your offers. They're not even good. Come back. What is your problem? We were just in the finals. Yeah, accept that offer. Yep, it's one mil it's one year, 12 million. And now you salty because you have to sign that. We got to bring back Javon Carter or somebody that was about the same overall, which is this, and then fill the roster with a bunch of bunch of weak people. Um, Lillard is dropping. Cool. Um, I'm probably trading Lillard, if I'm being honest with you. I'm trading him away. We, we tried it. I thought it was a one-year challenge for that. He's dropping. Let's, let's go ahead and make that move. Got to figure out what that means, though. Uh, 87 here. Um, dang, bro, we kind of, we so very top heavy. Uh, if we do something like this, you know what, let's, let's throw it in the trade finder. Cam was upset with his role anyway. I don't really want to trade you, Cam. Or do we want to do Aaron Gordon because his contract's huge? Like, this trade right here is not terrible, but if we don't win a championship this season, we got to find, like, you know what I'm saying? Hmm, okay. All right, this is a, a place where I have to build my own, okay? So I'm thinking... Our point guard position doesn't have to be anybody that's super, super elite. 
I'm, I kind of regret trading Fred, if I'm being honest with you. We gave up a lot. And then, actually, I don't like this trade because we get another center. We don't need another center. We have Jakob and we have Car Anthony Towns. I have to find that the middle tier slash solid point guard that's relatively cheap. Okay. Super big blockbuster, potentially. Dame, Ray, Ray John Tucker, Glenn Robinson, Quinn Cook, Corey Joe in a first for Monte Morris to be our new starting point guard. We're going to have uh, Miles Bridges be the new starting power forward, I guess. Sent Aaron Gordon to the bench. Cody Martin to run some minutes. Harrison Barnes to run some minutes. And Cody Zeller. I'm doing a deal. I'm not even thinking twice about it. We're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. Uh, Monte, yeah, we're going to make this work. We're going to make this work. We're going to make um, uh, Cam a backup small forward because he has the, the lateral foot speed to make that work. Or... If we want to get crazy, Jason Tatum is our starting shooting guard. He's 6'8". His overall don't even change. We can put Cam in the star lineup so we can stop crying to his agent about not wanting to be here. We get Miles Bridges. We get Cat. And then off the bench, we have Jakob. We have Aaron. We have um, uh, Herb. And then I, I guess we... I don't need Cody Zeller. He was kind of salary filler. I know he's actually one of the better players on the team. I'd rather have Harrison Barnes and Cody Martin getting those minutes. We basically have no backup point guard play. Like, at all. But this is what I'm about to do. Because I know Tatum can play make. You're you just went from a small four power forward to a, to a point guard shooting guard, Jason. The most unrealistic thing we can do. We're doing it. You feel me? This is this is what we do on, on the KLT4Q channel in order to successfully make some challenges happen. There should not be a player in the NBA without a secondary position. Cam, back up position. Power, uh, power forward. Yep. So now Tatum can play some backup point guard minutes if we need him to. Uh, yep. I, fe I feel better about this team than the last team. I still think we have a big three. 86, 94, 89. We got some people that can hit some shots. We got some defensive players. The bench is actually okay. If you look past the fact that we got no point guards, it's actually okay. What if what if I did this, especially for the regular season? I do this. I go into free agency and I sign somebody that's a set a point guard that's a 72. And then we release wow. Um, we release one of our 72s that's not a point guard, and we sign a 72 that is a point guard. So j just so, like Robert Covington, we don't need you here, my boy. And then now we can have Isaiah Thomas getting like three minutes a game. Or, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. Just so we do have at least a little bit, a little bit of point guard play. So my guy ain't got to play every single minute. Is that cool? Is that good? Game one, Detroit Pistons is a loss by 40. Wow. Um, Who are you? A center. He almost said a triple-double. Okay, that's fine. We're going to look past that and go into game two where we win. Yes, sir. J oh, yes. Shooting guard Jason Tatum. Go out there and average 45 if you need to. Isaiah Thomas in his limited amount of minutes. Per 36, he looks amazing. He ain't got an assist yet this season, though. We just continuously are two seeds. That ain't, that ain't no big deal, right? You know, two seeds can win championships. We've seen it before. We've seen it a lot, actually. All right, so all NBA teams, let's see if we get anybody that we love. There's our guard, Jason Tatum, by the way. Forgot he was going to be up here. He averaged 33. He could. I mean, the, the guard position was the best thing to happen to Jason Tatum in his life. He averaged 33. Um, Brooklyn, there we go. We also get Car Anthony Towns back here. All right, you know, pretty good, pretty good. I'm excited about this. Tatum is a guard, all NBA. That's all you got to do. If if they want to win this championship in real life, make Jason Tatum a guard. I mean, I guess that's kind of what they be doing, right? He be bringing the ball up the court and stuff. Okay, so for this playoff run, Isaiah Thomas will appreciate all the badness that was the 32% and Wow, he's played terrible. We're taking these minutes away from you. Harrison Barnes is like the only guy down here that's going to get minutes. Other than that, we're giving them to Tatum. We're, Cam is just... If we make, if we don't win this championship this year, Cam, you're getting traded. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're washed. You're bad. You're out of here. Next one. We're going against the Orlando Magic in the first round. Seven seed again. This is a team we beat already. And I, they got Tyrese Maxey. Did they have Tyrese Maxey before? I don't think they did. Didn't matter. We didn't worry about them. We beat them before. But now let's go on to Milwaukee, who have... Not that great of a... T Our guards are killing their guards. Our center, killing their center. We're beating them across the board except for that small four position. Game one is a Brooklyn win by 20, Jason Tatum. Game two is a Brooklyn win by overtime, six points, Carthony Towns and Tatum. Beautiful. Game three, 
We, do we know when that? That's fine. This seems not very good, but I didn't think I was going to sweep him considering um, how this, this video has been going so far. Kamiga's been really good for them. But this time we got the Miles Bridges game with Jason Tatum on top of that. And then we get to the conference finals to go against the number one seed. Finally, the number one seed got out of the first round. It's Jalen Brown. Dang, defensively, this team is crazy. Jalen Brown, Danny of Dia, Evan Mobley, and Mitchell Robinson are all really good defenders. Not Tito Vincenzo has his moments, but four out of their five are like super elite level defenders or have the potential to be. Danny's not there to be elite, but he's, he's very good. If you know, you know. Game one is a loss. And it was by three, so I'm not complaining and not tripping because we come back in this game and we go ahead and get the rematch. Yes, sir. 2-1 series. Us. Get one more of them things. 3-1 series. And we don't blow 3-1 series leads around here on this channel. And we don't. Yes. I have yet to actually blow a 3-1 when I say that. I have blown 3-1 for sure. But when I say we ain't going to do it, we ain't doing it. And that's, lastly, we go against the number one seed that had MVP LaMelo Ball. They have Austin Rivers at the three. <laughs> Dog him, Cameron. Stop being upset with your, your shot attempts and dog him. Uh, they got Jeremy Grant and Rudy Gobert down low. So Rudy, Rudy should be eating with LaMelo Ball as his point guard. We win game one. Who the heck? A shooting guard from France is killing in the playoffs. I see you. Hey, they say the best of the best end up improving their play once they get to the postseason. Um, Rudy Gobert only had seven points and he fouled out. So not worried about that. Game two is another convincing win. 51 points for Tatum, 20 for 29 from the field. Come on, man. Hey, if that ain't a legendary finals um, performance, I don't know what it is. We're one game away. And just like that, we only needed how many trades was that? Four trades? We needed four trades to win a championship. It took us having Tatum to start off with, trading for Cat, trading for Miles Bridges. Aaron was here the entire time. Trading for Monte Morris, who never turns the ball over. Trading for Jakob Pertl. Trading for Cam Johnson. Herb Jones was there. Trading for Harrison Barnes. And all of that got us a ring. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And tune in tomorrow around the same time because there will be another banger dropping. See y'all then. Peace.